Hi, don't mind this. I am just suffering from shingles on my neck. Which is basically when your childhood chicken pox, which I don't even remember having, uh, gets reactivated. My, I suspect too that it was reactivated from heat from the past two weeks that I just spent in Baja, California, Mexico. I'm gonna go put a band-aid on this. Wow, that looks awful, but I wanna spare you the sight of this. It wasn't really a vacation. I was there documenting a college marine biology uh, class research trip, but because I love my job so much, it sure felt like a vacation. I, I was literally just travel vlogging and being paid for it. It was wonderful, which really has me wondering about if I'm making the right call um, just with pursuing a major in computer science as opposed to, like, film? I don't know. Or journalism, even. That's a whole other video topic. I will say, though, it was so hot and so humid, I don't think I've ever sweated more in my entire life. It was, it was definitely in like the hundreds, practically the whole time, and only one room of one building of this entire research facility had air conditioning. So at night, everybody just slept out under the stars on the beach, which was so cool. Look at that view. That was, it was literally, it was so bright out because there was no light pollution that there were several times I was closing my eyes and I would think like, boy, I wish somebody would turn out that light only to open up my eyes and realize that was the moon. And I know if you live in like Nebraska or Indiana, you're laughing at me, okay? This city boy very rarely gets to see stars. <laughs> I'll tell you what I almost did or, or thought I was going to see stars though. There was a moment, because it was a marine biology class, I was documenting the group swimming near some sea lions. Because these were wild animals, a few really important warnings were given. Like for example, don't be vertical at any point. Always look like you're laying down in the water because otherwise that can look like a sign of aggression towards the leader who may think that you're challenging them. Okay, look. Look, there was one, one, one moment. We were in like really deep water and I thought, you know what just might look really cool, not even for the documentary, but just for my own personal, like I really want this footage, is the camera facing me as I swim straight down into the abyss. That would look so cool. And it did until, um, one of the sea lions realized that I was vertical. I'm assuming that that's what happened because um, I think I was rushed by a seal. Wasn't expecting it, so this isn't incredibly stellar footage or anything, but um... Came way too close to the seal not being the only uh, brown thing shaped like this that was floating in the water. <laughs> That's a poop joke. Admittedly, I'm not a sea lion behavioral expert, so maybe the sea lion just so happened to be diving down and towards like me completely for unrelated reasons. Maybe I was by a fish or whatever sea lions eat. The irony of me saying that when documenting a marine biology class. I know, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I was more focused on the camera, okay? Let me live! So what about you? What's your story of a time that scared the absolute crap out of you then, but now you can look back on and laugh? Uh, I, I just want to swap stories. I love that. That's my favorite thing about YouTube communities is just the, the storytelling. YouTube says to end every video with a call to action, so I guess my call to action is going to be don't be vertical in water with sea lions. <laughs> the more you know.